Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today I want to talk about one of the most foundational steps in Tableau prep and that's the pivot step. This can really help you when you've got an odd structure to your data set or you need to change the structure of it to cater more to the way that Tableau uh, needs it to be formatted rather than how you would typically see it in an Excel analysis. Um, and there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. So let's, let's dive into it. I've connected to a couple of sample data sets here. And so this first one is a little bit more simple. I've got a sale date and a vendor and their sales types are broken out into four separate columns. I want these to be in one column, the sales values all in one column, because that's going to what, how Tableau really wants to work with it. And it's also going to help me output the data in a, a better format. So what I'll do here is I'll add a pivot step. Now, by default, you'll see this uh, pivoted fields. It's set to uh, columns to rows. You can also pivot out your rows to columns. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, but let me uh, manually, if I want to manually pivot out my rows, especially if the columns here were, let's say they were, they, they all had different names. So it would be helpful for me to just drag them over and pivot them out. And so now all of those types of sales and their values are all in one column. And so I could even call this sale type. And so this will make it really easy for my final output. I can just go ahead and aggregate by vendor and sale date and my sales are all in that one column. And so boom, there, there we go. I've got my vendor and date and my sales all, all the way that I need to, to send to Tableau. Um, now, what if this is the way that my data was structured here um, and I wanted to pivot out those all into their own columns? So that's where I could then go and say, um, for my pivot step, let me do rows to columns instead and I want to pivot out my sale type. And I also need to drag the value that I want to be associated with those columns, which is going to be the sales amount. And so that just, again, does the reverse. Um, so that's one way to use the uh, pivot step. Uh, but you can also make it a little bit more dynamic and cater it to potential future changes in the process. And so what I'm going to do is I'm still using the same data set. Um, I can actually add a, a wildcard search for my pivot. And so that's what you'll see here. And so since all of my columns have the same sort of naming convention, and if we were to bring in additional categories in the future, they would follow the same naming convention. And so I can say to pivot out any column that contains sales in it and boom, real quick and easy. And then I can go on and continue on with my aggregation. Um, so what if I had a little bit more complicated data set, similar, similar structure. Um, we've got sale date and vendor, but now we've got two sort of metrics, but they still all have their own columns. We've got sales and quantity sold. So what I can do here is I can add my pivot step again, and I'm going to go ahead and use my wildcard pivot and say, I want to pivot out my sales columns. But now you see we've got those quantities duplicated. So I can actually add an additional pivot here in the same step. And using my wildcard search, I'm going to say I also want to pivot out any of the columns with quantity in them. And so if you're using multiple um, pivots in the same step, you'll want to go in and validate and make sure that the values are lining up correctly. But I know that it's, it's lining up clothing, drinks, it, it's lining those up already. And so again, that makes it really easy for me to go and aggregate and say for vendor and sale date, give me the total sales and the quantity sold. And there you've got it. Um, so those are a couple of ways to use the pivot step. And again, it's really um, critical to understand the structure of your data. So that way, you know, if you've got things split out into multiple columns, especially if you've got dates, that each have their own column. Tableau uh, really likes to have those in one column so it can do the aggregation properly or do the trends properly. Um, so yeah, just a quick video today. 
Um, if there's other specific use cases you'd like to see um, or just general feedback about the channel, let me know. Leave me a comment um, and I hope to see you in the next one.